Good morning. Briefly, I need to say something about the Swedish government. You know, there were four parties who agreed that there will be a socialist Green Party government again in Sweden. And they excluded the Nationalist Party, of course. This was their main target. But they also excluded the Communist Party. It says so in the agreement, you know, in writing. So, and they need the vote from the Communist Party. Or they will not have a majority. But they didn't even talk to them. That's how arrogant these globalists are. So, and I said yesterday that the communists will be pissed off about this. You know, they are very used to being able to influence the socialist government here in Sweden. That's how they have been operating for a very long time. And it's actually one of the reasons Sweden is in such a mess. But now they will have no influence. And they will be pissed off. And sure enough, later last night on the news, they are, you know, they are very, very pissed off about this. Yeah. So we'll see. In, I think it's within an hour we will see if they accept this government or not. I don't see how they can accept it. That would be suicide. All right. So we'll see. I also want to talk about the EU Parliament election. Now they are trying to win this. The EU globalists, they want to win this election. So they are worried about the nationalists, you see. So they are sending out their best to win this election for them. And the best they have is Angela Merkel and Macron. <laughs> yeah. You know, and possibly you know, Pedro Sanchez of Spain or, and Mark Rutte of the Netherlands. Maybe they can help. But uh, Angela Merkel is their key person here, I think. So she's been in Greece lately where she criticized the, Greece, the Greek legal system for underperforming <laughs> on deportations. Yeah, she does. This is what she says. The Greek legal system is very complicated and somehow the sending back of migrants is not working. She says everyone knows once you're on a Greek island you can get to the mainland and once you're on the mainland you can then somehow get to Germany, Sweden, Austria or somewhere else. So then we have then we are supporting illegal migration. Illegal migration. I thought this was forbidden to say this. It's, it's supposed to be irregular migration. Don't you know this, Angela? I mean, I mean of course, you can criticize Greece. Of course. But I don't think Angela Merkel is the person to do it. No, she's not very successful in deporting people out of her own country, Germany. She's a joke. Go fuck yourself, Angela Merkel. And then there is Macron. You know, we haven't heard much about Macron lately. I mean, from him. You know, he's quite silent. But he did write a letter. He did. And this letter was published today in the French newspaper. It's a very long letter. It's 2,300 words. So he was sitting in this chamber, of course, writing this letter. And he's addressing the protesters. This is so pathetic. And maybe he's trying to gain some voters from the Yellow Vest protesters. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Finally, I want to tell you this horrific story from Sweden. Uh, there is a psychiatrist, his name is David, David Eberhard. And he's a best-selling author. He's quite famous here in Sweden. And his latest book is called The Great Sex Experiment, where he criticizes gender theory. And now, listen to this. This is what happened. There is a tax 
financed agency here in Sweden, tax financed, and they make audiobooks out of the uh, no normal books, so for the blind people, of course. So they made, as usual, a book from this book, David Eberhardt. He made it into an audiobook, and then Eberhardt discovered that there is a warning inside his book. There's this guy speaking, of course, right? And there's a warning included in the book. You know, saying that the content of the book is wrong. Absolutely outrageous. Oh, and here's the warning. I read it to you. I think the author has misinterpreted postmodernism fairly well. There are hardly any postmodernists who claim that truths do not exist. Rather, truths exist but are interchangeable. In addition, it is doubtful to call it a movement. It's an umbrella term for various isms, such as post-structuralism and others. So this was included in this guy's book. Wow, these uh, lefties, they, do, they can do anything. They, they think they can do anything. This is outrageous, absolutely. And I think it's a big, big mistake. Uh, this has 1984 written all over it. Okay, that's it. Bye.